Hi everyone, this is Shoktor Shidash with roll number 21C81057 and this is my assembly disassembly DIY assignment. So today I am gonna disassemble a induction cooktop and then again I am gonna reassemble it. So let us first check that whether the induction cooktop is in working conditions or not. So I am switching on. As you can see the light blinks, so it is in working condition. So I am just switching it off for our safety. Now at first when we see the cooktop, we see two parts. One is the heating pad and another one is this control panel. Now let us see what is in the back. So when we turn it around, we see there are four screws at each corners which is connected in order to tighten the upper and the cook top the lower and the upper pad so in order to remove it we need to first unscrew it so let us first unscrew the four screw Let us first turn it around again and when we open the top part we see that the control panel is connected with the motherboard with help of this connection. So in order to remove it and totally detach it we need to open up this connection and we are keeping it aside for the time being. Let us check what is inside this cooktop. So as we can see there is a big copper turning. So what happens is that when the current comes from the main uh, due to joule heating effect it produces heat and these two are the heat sensors which determines the heat produced and these copper windings is mounted on this chassis with the help of these three screws. So let us again first unscrew. Screws are all galvanized. That means they would not rust easily. So we have detached it from the mount and we see that the two heat sensors are connected to the motherboard with the help of these two squares. We are opening it again. So now when we see, we see an exhaust fan which ejects out the heat produced and it works on an 18 volt DC supply and it is also connected to the motherboard with the help of these wires. Now again closer look to the motherboard we find a capacitor with capacitor reading of 5 microfarad and it is also called the filter capacitor. This is the heat sink. So yeah, this all we get inside a induction cooktop. Now let us again reassemble it. So at first I am connecting the two heat sensors to the motherboard. We are tightening it on the mount with the help of this switch screw. So it has been tight and it has been mounted. Now let us connect the exhaust fan to the motherboard. We have connected the exhaust fan to the motherboard and next we again will place the top on the bottom and 
radius where will go to the this is the control panel where, uh, connection and it will be again connected to the motherboard this control panel generates signals and on which the cooktop works we are placing it again carefully yeah so now we will be again tightening it with the four screws at each corner so we have tightened it properly and let us check whether it is in again working conditions or not are our connections all perfect or not So the light blinks and our all connections are correctly made. So thank you.